Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be covering the basics of how you can control the mouse using auto hockey commands. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. We'll first start off with the basics of the mouse manipulation and then move on to more complicated stuff. All right, let's start with the mouse left click. I'm going to create a hotkey to send the mouse click. And the way you do it is this way. So if I go ahead and run the script and press numpad one, it's going to send a left click to where my mouse cursor is. So if I bring up paint, for example, and I have brush turned on. Let me increase the size and press numpad one. I'll get the dots being printed. If I hold it down, then I can continually print the dots, which means my left click is being sent continually. Note that you can also use the send command to send the L button instead of performing a click by doing a click. And if I run this, it's basically going to do the same thing. If I press numpad one, it's going to click where the mouse cursor is and press and hold it down. It's the same thing is going to happen. It's going to continually click, perform click. So you see the dots being drawn onto the paint. All right. So to perform the mouse right click, you just go click and come out right. And if I run this and go numpad one, I'll get the right click context menu while I'm in sight and also in paint if I do it around where the title bar of the paint window is I'll get the right context menu and likewise you can also do a send command and R button to perform pretty much the same thing so pressing numpad one will bring up the right context menu option like that. In order for you to perform a double click of the left button on the mouse, let me just bring up my desktop folder where I've got some folders that I can perform double clicks on. And the command is going to be click, comma, and two. If I save this and run it, and then put my mouse cursor on top of a folder and press numpad one, it's going to perform a double click so it goes into that folder and in this folder are some test scripts and I'm going to use the second one to send a message box upon double clicking on the script so if I move the mouse cursor on top of it and press number pad one then it's going to run the script and show me that message box if you want to perform a left mouse click and hold it down then what you can do is you can go click and down and what this is going to do is if I run the hotkey and press while my carrot I believe it's called carrot that blinking uh, vertical line within text editors like notepad if I press numpad one here what it's going to do is it's going to perform the left mouse click and hold it down so if I move my mouse cursor down it will start highlighting these texts which means it will act act as though my left mouse button is pressed down even though physically I'm not doing that. Now if you want to get out of this then you can press the left mouse button once or you can also use another arcade that I'm going to create uh, this command click up to release the left button on the mouse so if I go back and press numpad one here and I can see that the left mouse button has been clicked and then if I if I move the cursor down, then I can see the texts are being highlighted. And if I press, if I press number pad 2 to release my left mouse button, then I can see that even when I'm moving the mouse cursor around, it's not updating the highlighted portion of the texts. And lastly, before I start teaching you on how to use coordinates within the screen, I will quickly show you how you can send the wheel up. Ironically, it's still click and will up will send the wheel up and 
wheel down and we'll send the wheel down so let me just create new line so I can test it out if I save it run it and by pressing numpad 2 I will go down by a wheel and press number pad 1 to go up scroll up the page all right let's now learn how to use coordinates when you send a mouse click so there are three types of code mode that you need to familiarize yourself with the first is code mode mouse screen now these are important because when you provide a coordinate x y coordinate to a certain point the x y coordinates are calculated relative to uh, what mode you set it you set up your autohockey script to so right now i have a code mode of a mouse screen which calculates the coordinates relative to the screen so if you provide a coordinate of a x coordinate of 100 pixels and y coordinate of 100 pixels then it will it will perform a mouse click from the top left hand corner of your screen when you have this code mode switched on a second code mode is mouse and client and this will be relative to the active window so what that means is right now my active window is site and it's maximized but if it's not maximized if I unmaximize it and if I'm performing a mouse click by providing a coordinate and my co code mode is set to mouse client then my auto key script is going to perform the the mouse click based on the coordinate relative to my active window so it's going to start from the top left hand corner of my site window and then the last one which I don't think you'll be using all that much but it's good to know is window it's relative to the active window it's the same but the only difference is um, it removes the title bar and the border of the window and also the menu if the menu uses a traditional windows menu and etc so it's going to be slightly different in that while the client code mode is going to start from the top left hand corner of your active window the window mode will start slightly lower than the client mode and potentially uh, more towards the right than the client mode in my experience i've um, almost always used the screen code mode so um, i i would think that that would be the one that you would most likely use as well in your scripts and therefore i won't go through every single one of these modes to demonstrate the differences and most of my examples later on will be based on the screen code mode as well so let me just show you quickly comment these two out and i'm going to show you how you can perform a left mouse click based on a coordinate so that's simple it's just click comma 100 and 200 so this is i believe this is the x coordinate and that's the y coordinate so what i can do using this is i can convert this into a hotkey numpad one as well and pop that in and let me move that over here because my screen because my code mode right now is mouse screen code mode of mouse is screen run right now so it's going to start from the top right left hand corner of the monitor so I might have to put a more higher value for the y coordinate so if I run this script and where am I okay let me increase the size of the brush press numpad one it's going to move the mouse to my desired coordinate and it would have pressed the the left click therefore I see a dot here so if I update this to 550 and press numpad one it's going to do the do the same um, I think 
it didn't print a dot because my I haven't had paint activated so if I run the hotkey again this time it will surely have printed the dot there we go so the difference between this and this is a 50 pixel okay and you can convert this into a variable the coordinates I mean and I can just go say 200 pixel for X and uh, 550 pixel for Y and all you got to do is you have to uh, put in the variable inside the parameters wrapped in percentage signs and if I run the script and highlight paint and press numpad 1 it's going to put a dot to uh, an x-coordinate of 200 pixels and y-coordinate of 550 pixels all right the last thing I'm gonna cover before wrapping up this tutorial is how to perform a double click of the left mouse button on a coordinate and before I get started with that let me just bring up my desktop folder so I can perform a double click on where this temporary scripts folder is and in order to do that I need to get the coordinate of this area uh, which means I will have to use the script and that's going to be a single instance force of that and I'll just use the hotkey as well um, and this time let me just use numpad2 and Oh, um, and it's important that when you are using this when you're using anything related to mouse coordinates you always have to set up the chord mode to the same screen or client or window whatever your choice is the same uh, mode if you're going to use the output of this command which is mouse get pause x and y this command to get the um, X and Y coordinates of the current mouse position of the mouse cursor. So the X coordinate will be saved into a variable called X, Y coordinate will be saved into a variable called Y and because this just saves the coordinates into those variables I need to see that output in a tooltip and new line Y colon and Y and by running this script I save it and run it and if I press number pad 2 while my mouse cursor is on top of the temporary scripts folder I'll get a tooltip that tells me exactly what coordinate I have to put in in these variables in order for me to perform perform the I think it was 462 perform the click on um, on this folder actually I have to convert this into a double click and to perform a double click what you have to do is click and specify the button which is going to be left and X and Y variables now if I save this run it and press numpad 1 it will take me to temporary script solder and perform a double click oh no because I forgot to put in number 2 here it just performed a single click let me run the uh, script again and press the hotkey it's going to perform a double click so as to go into that folder now another script instead of using this one this is good enough um, but another script if you uh, want a constant update to the, the uh, tooltip you can also use this script which I'm going to type out now single instance force and let me grab that chord mode mouse screen from that other script and I'm going to set a timer mouse curse pause of 10 milliseconds and I'm going to run this so I'm going to run this label every 10 milliseconds and basically it's just going to be the same as this it's just going to be an infinite loop of running test script 2 basically um, every 10 milliseconds and I have an emergency exit of exit button to exit the script so if I run this I'll see the 
tooltip being updated as I move my mouse cursor. Okay, and in this manner, I can see I can, uh, you know, use the coordinates that are di being displayed in the tooltip um, to perform clicks and double clicks. All right, this is it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.